Hello, it is day 412. I am spending some alone time in nature right now. I'm sitting in Central Park and there is almost no one around. And oh my God, this feels amazing. I feel like I own the park. And although I am really enjoying this time of quarantine, I'm enjoying acquiring my new cooking skills and baking skills and really spending time with me, at the same time, I really want us to get back out in the world and, and start doing amazing things and things that really fulfill us and help us to flourish greater than we ever had before this even happened. And so I am seeing a lot of videos on social media and, and over the weekend, I saw a lot of rallies of, peop of people fighting to get out of lockdown and for us to reopen the country. And I get it. There are a lot of challenges that come with this. And at the same time, I think if we do that, um, and, and we don't have this virus under control, how is that really going to help us to flourish in the future? This is not about immediate gratification because if we reopen too early, first of all, not only will people get sick and die, a lot of people have died from this, we would have to probably go right back into quarantine and start over from scratch. So this, this instant gratification of, I, I see a lot of people that are fighting to get out of lockdown, their, their main reason is because they need to go and get a haircut or they need to go to a nail salon. That is not a legit reason to get out of lockdown. I, I think those people personally need to love themselves enough to protect themselves because this is a great lesson in self-love is that if we don't love ourselves enough to take care of us, we cannot take care of anyone else. We cannot love another person if we don't love ourselves. And loving ourselves in this quarantine begins with staying home and taking care of us and our health because that is the only way that we can take care of another. We have to love ourselves enough to protect ourselves, protect our health, protect our safety. And in doing so, we can do it for others. We can do it for our loved ones. And it goes back to the lesson that that I have learned and it took me many many years in order to love another person I have to love me I have to love me enough because if I don't I can't love someone else and in separation we are together the way that we can take care of each other is to love ourselves enough to take care of ourselves first even if we've never done that before and I think that's one of the lessons that people need to get from this quarantine and if they don't get it they're gonna get it some other way and it's gonna be a whole lot harder for them so if for you if you're you're really like suffering from the, the hair growth and the nail growth, all of the things that we go to salons to do and and learn to do them yourself if it's really really such a bother for you go on YouTube and learn I have done so I have friends that have done so and it's learning how to be like self-sufficient when I don't have these these services available and this may we may have to be in quarantine again later on in the future for something else so it's like the relationship with ourselves and learning to be alone with us and enjoying that is one of the things I think everybody needs to get from being in quarantine. And if we don't get it now, we're going to get it again. So those are just some thoughts rambling around as I look at the trees and enjoy nature and enjoy sitting here alone with me. And um, I hope you have been well and safe and healthy and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.